Hi everybody, it's great to get back with an Irish song and Dermot Kennedy's the man I'm bringing you to your attention today on my channel. Something to Somebody is the latest single he's dropped. Have a bit about that, but we're gonna get into, as always, it's a bit of bio, the song, the my interpretation of the lyrics. I'll give you Dermot's, what, it's, what he says about it, but as always on this channel, I say to fans of artists, I give you another interpretation, mine, to go outside the box and think outside the box to look into a song because each song, all the lyrics to any song will always be different to me, to you, to somebody else. So it's just my interpretation. And that's what this channel's about. So let's get on to a few fun facts about the guy himself. And do check out other singles I've reacted to on Dermot. I didn't know, and I have to begin this, that he was the nephew of Mary Kennedy of RTE. RTE, RTE e is the broadcasting company, television broadcasting company here in Ireland. And one of the greatest presenters for many, many years on different programs has been Mary Kennedy. And he is the nephew. So, wow, you've got an aunt who is a fabulous TV presenter, still doing a lot of work on TV. And you've got Dermot, who's a singer. So it runs in the family being in the media presence. But let's get going. I just wanted to mention that for what it's worth for those Irish people that didn't know that connection, because I certainly didn't. And I love both people here. Now, the Dub Dubna has gone mega global since he began, but he doesn't like to think about fame. I drive myself mad if I think about it too much, he says. It's easy to get caught up in comparing yourself to other people. And there's so many things, he says, that you take away from the fact that you literally just want to make music. It's so easy to get caught up in, oh God, that person is doing this and they sold out that venue and they sold that many albums. It's just nice to stay in your lane. Second fact, he never wanted to be a musician as a kid. He says, there was always music playing in my house, but I steered towards... I wasn't steered towards learning anything. My sister played the piano all the time. My auntie is a beautiful singer and so is my cousin, but it wasn't necessarily that type of house where, oh, music is just the thing we'll all do. I grew up being obsessed with football and wanted to do that. I got a guitar because my cousin played and he was at a family party and he started playing some songs. So only then I realized that is what I wanted to do. Third fact, he learned a lot about performing while busking on Grafton Street. I feel Grafton Street is very famous in Dublin. It's a, it's a peripheral place for shopping, central place for buskers to go to and play their music. And it's so busy with tourists. So if you ever come to Dublin, Grafton Street, and you want to hear a bit of free music, Grafton Street's the place to go. But he says, I feel like your enthusiasm correlates with how well you do. There are two stages to me busking. I used to do it with just me and a guitar, sitting in a chair and sell crappy CDs. That was not good. Then I met this Australian guy called Malachi who bust all summer and he gave me all these pointers. Get a new amp, take up as much space as you can. I got a big beautiful rug and basically made a shop. You're basically making it as noticeable as possible. So I did that and on the first day I was really excited and I did well. Blew out all the CDs. It was amazing. Can you imagine having one of those CDs from Grafton Street all that time ago by Dermot Kennedy before he became famous? Ugh, I missed out. He studied classical music at Maynooth. I'd love to go back, he says, because it was an amazing degree with top class musicians and teachers and just the most beautiful musical environment to be in. Maynooth is an amazing tourist place to go to for those visiting Ireland. It's got Maynooth College, an amazing place. It's got like a little town going on with lots of beautiful shops and beautiful people and friendly atmosphere, great pubs, great place to go to. And it's great for student life as well. So he continues. So I kind of wish I took it a bit more seriously if this is his degree, because I wasn't a good student. You have access to all of these incredible musical minds and I just find myself being a bit lazy and disinterested because I was always thinking about doing this. I did well and in the end, but I did a desertion in the third year on the opera of Ophelius. And if you're doing a desertion, you're assigned to a lecture as your touchstone. 
And for example, at the beginning of the year, I was like, look, I'll do this, but I'm not gonna do the back and forth. And she was like, I definitely don't care. Cool, go ahead. So that was the type of student I was. I thought I had it all sorted, but I did not. So we'll go straight to what he says. Dermot Kennedy posted a series of TikToks teasing this particular song initially starting in March with a stripped down video of him singing a verse on the piano. The following day, he posted a clip that showed the production of this song and finally giving fans a sneak peek of the finished song on April the 2nd. Now he continues about what the song is about and I think that is important before I play it. What a com And there's a lot of drilling work. I have a lot going on around me today so I hope you can bear with me. So what he says about this song is what a comforting thought it is to know that no matter what you endure, no matter how lonely the world may seem, you're still in somebody's mind. And I wanted this song to, re to be a reminder that you are loved. So I'm going to get straight into this and hopefully the music will override the noise of the building here. And we shall play Something to Somebody by Dermot Kennedy. Enjoy, I don't interrupt, and we'll come back with my interpretation, short and quick, with the lyrics. I hope you enjoy. Take it away, Dermot. Winding. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. It's all live, so I'm getting started. I've been disorientated with this drilling all morning. lessons in love sometimes the heart is but a winding road so the story goes i get scared of the dark and i i never even noticed rooms were made bright by you oh you sorry about you me. love me more than I wish I could have known that I should hold on tight to every single word, to every summer night. I wish I could have known that forever was a lie. But once upon a time, I was something to someone. Once upon a time, I was something to someone. See your shape under gold street lights. But every time I'm close, you move And I'm just left with the truth Oh, you love me more than anyone Yeah, we were up so high We were lost when we were young, but You were mine Once upon a time, you were by my side I wish I could have known That I should hold on tight To every single word, to every summer night I wish I could have known that forever was a lie But once upon a time, I was something to someone Once upon a time, I was something to someone Something to you Something to you Once upon you were by my side I wish I could have known That I should hold on tight To every single word To every summer night I wish I could have known That forever was a lie But once upon a time I was something to someone Once upon a time I was something to someone got to say straight away you do you mean musically something to somebody Dermot I'm sure out there 
everybody listening to that. Your lyrics always touch people. There's always depth to them. Straight away, I want to say that. I want to say I don't see the comparison between Ed Sheeran and you. I prefer your voice. I prefer your depth. I prefer the richness, the individuality you deliver. I've not been a huge, I haven't got him on my channel even, Ed Sheeran fan, but I don't take away from what he's achieved. He's an accomplished artist, absolutely phenomenal in his own right, but there's different tastes of different people. I mentioned some people before, a lot of people like Celine Dion, but I love the depthness and the richness of Lara Fabian's voice. A lot of people follow Madonna over the years, said she was the queen of pop, but I love Cindy Lauper's voice. And it's just how it is. You know, there may be comparables, but people prefer one or the other. And that's what makes it a beautiful world in music, that you have individual musical tastes. And Dermot, you have delivered that. There are lessons in love. Love comes in all forms. But he's talking about, you know, we all feel that we don't have enough love or we've no love in our lives. But it is, as he says, it's a winding road. And it's a dark place for some people. They prefer not to speak about it. And when you do think of it and you think of somebody that you love, it's like a room that the lights turned on. It gets brighter and brighter. And oh, you love me more than anyone. Yeah, you were up so high. You know, you, you don't appreciate the love you were given sometimes in a relationship or by people, but yet you hold them close to your heart. For example, I never appreciated my mother. I took her for granted. That's one example. Um, previous partners I've had, I took their love for granted. I just expected it. And when it happened, yeah, I deserved this. I became selfish with it. And I think we all do in the way we think. But he continues, Chorus, once upon a time you were by my side. I wish I could have known that I should have held on tight to every single word, to every summer night. I wish I could have known that forever was a lie. But once upon a time I was something to someone. Once upon a time I was something to somebody, which is very different. Look, when we're with somebody, we don't know if it's going to last forever. But we lie to ourselves. We found the perfect partner, don't we? We always say, oh, this is it, it feels so real. And either one or the other gets more emotionally involved. And as Dermot says, to every summer night, every special moment, you're not at nighttime and you're embracing them. We always say nighttime, but during the day, it could be the afternoon, depends on what time of the day you feel. Oof. And it's one of those things that I wish I could have known, that it was short lived, that I was lying to myself, this was the forever person. It's not a lie, it's a hope, it's a dream we all have, everybody. And so even if you do say to somebody, oh, I hope this is the forever, and you believe it, believe it. You're entitled to, to that belief. It's what we all aspire to, it's what we all want. And if it finishes, yes, it's heartbreaking. But do you know what I say? Around each new corner is a surprise, we don't know. And karma has a funny way of coming around and giving you a second chance, third chance, fourth chance of happiness if you want it if you open the door for it and you don't get silly with emotions oh the last time and you live in the past it's once upon a time it doesn't have to be once upon a time it can be as many times as you want to keep the door open is the trick and my advice i give people because he continues in verse two see your shape on the gold street lights but every time i'm close you move and i'm just left with the truth so he lives in the shadows, the shadows of the past. So when he's walking along the street and he's thinking, sometimes he sees an image and maybe your eyes play trick. You see somebody walking past or somebody is reminiscent of how they look of somebody that was in your life. And as you move closer, your eyes, the vision becomes clear. It, it isn't that person or that little moment you have disappears in your head and you're just left with the truth. You're on your own or the past is the past. But don't get despondent about it. I feel this song is very positive. Hold on to those memories. Some of the best memories in our lives are the ones we hold on to dear and that are important to us. And even if that person is out of your life, it mightn't be important to them, but those memories are important to you. Don't lose them, keep them. It's what makes your heart beat as well and keeps love alive because you want more memories. So you will keep the door open. You will keep moving forward. And then it goes, oh, love me more than anyone. Yeah, we were up so high. We were lost when we were young, but you were mine. 
puppy love. When you're young, you think the world is your oyster and you're swimming, not drowning in that ocean. You're splashing like a dolphin. You're flipping like a dolphin, performing like a person out of a circus. You're just so happy, so in love, carefree. That's what it's about. We all deserve to live our lives like that. And if you say, well, I never did, then learn to live it. Find something that you can bring into your life that will give you that moment. And love, as I said, when you meet somebody, you can be a friend to somebody and love that person. It could be a grandmother, it could be a colleague at work who does things for you, who taught you the job and you haven't really appreciated them. Love comes in many, many cycles, everybody. Just learn to love the memories, the person, the place, the time and never forget them. Because the chorus continues, once upon a time you were by my side, I wish I could have known that I, I should have held on tight to every single word to every summer night, I wish I could have known. That forever was a lie, we've discussed that. It isn't a lie. But for once upon a time, I was something to somebody. We all were something to someone, all of us. Even I know that past relationship does say, oh, when I was with CC, it was incredible incredible i loved it uh i know that i know i gave as much joy as i took to people because i always put a lot of emotional into it and when they broke i wasn't really upset i wasn't i suppose i left myself empty that there was no much no nothing left but i held on to i've got mother memories i've got family memories i've got work memories and i've got you memories i kept it in i kept the memories and i go away going okay it didn't last but i have the memory so it doesn't have to be once upon a time some and then when he says and this is what i wanted to bring up i was something to somebody that is true you were believe that i was something to someone i was something to someone it's something that you need to believe so it continues in the chorus and he repeats all those words every summer night that I was alive, something to somebody. But it goes into pre-chorus, something to you, something to somebody, I was something. You have to remind yourself of that. That when two people go into a relationship, the reason I, the, you have to realise, if it lasts for a, a couple of months, a couple of years and longer, and suddenly that person's out of your life for, no, you know, for whatever reason, you wear something to that person because that's why it lasted if it fizzled out it's because of external it could be internal internal it depends but to bring yin and yang back into your life you just got to remember that i was something to somebody 